You know, it was actually another faculty member um, was using Mr. Potato Head in a totally different context. And so he had a whole bunch of Mr. Potato Head parts in a box, and he was using them to have uh, medical students try to figure out the complexities of working with different patients. And I, at the same time, was struggling because I had uh, I was working with a, a big program in England, uh, and I had done just about every PDSA exercise that I had ever seen. And it was on my fourth or fifth. We'd done airplanes. We had done the 246 exercise. We had um, utilized all these different techniques, um, but I was struggling to find something that connected all the dots, that included both um, testing changes, but also incorporated measurement, which is a key part of our theory. So when I saw this, uh, this physician use uh, the PDSA, or use the potato head uh, in this, this different exercise, I said, this might work for doing PDSAs. And so um, I built an exercise, very simplistic one, and tested it on one uh, group as I was uh, trying to teach them about PDSAs. And, and blended both testing um, and measurement. So the, the testing was to try to uh, take all the parts out of the body and put it together in a certain fashion, but then we blended measurement that included um, an accuracy score and a time score and uh, tried to see if we could get teams to uh, put it together faster and faster through iterative testing. And so now, several years later, it's been done around the world. Um, I think almost on every continent, a number of our faculty use it. And uh, I, I, you know, I jokingly say that uh, we contribute to more purchases, or, or second to, I should say, uh, Toy Story for purchases of Hasbro's uh, Mr. Potato Head.